Hey guys, Bryce Tubbs here. So I'm super excited to be able to talk about like, like where the, what really causes someone to get to like 15 grand per month. So it's funny, the more, when I was starting out, right, I thought that I was gonna need a million clients at like, I was predicting like $200 a month in order to go get to like 10 grand, right? And that was my marketing. I was like, well, if I just get like a bunch of clients and only paying $200, like no one's gonna say no to $200. And then I'll just be able to go and get um, get so many of them because no one's going to say no to me. And it's funny as, as you know, seven years later, um, actually eight years, because like when I was making that plan, that was before I launched my accounting and bookkeeping business. Um, it's, it's totally the opposite. It's funny. It's like you want to work with less clients and just pay the, get, get paid really well. And it's funny, like, the, the, the better that someone pays you, the more that they'll stick with you around for, like, a lot longer. It's funny, right? Because, like, whenever I would go with the clients that would be, like, really low paying, it would be, like, they would just be very transient. As soon as either someone lower came around or, like, the end of, like, the year came around, they were just like, oh, I just want to switch. Or every year I like to switch to a, to a new provider. And it would just be so hard to, like, get the people to, you know, just, just stick around. And they'll always be, like, calling you, and they want you to come to, like, their workplace. And it'd be, like, the less money they paid, the more money it felt, or the more it felt like they thought you were, like, an employee. And it was just the weirdest thing. It always felt like, too, like, they would be, like, oh, I'm paying you so much money, and, like, I'm doing you a favor. And it's, like, when you look back, it's, like, dude, it's only, like, $500 a month. <laughs> like, that's nothing, dude. You can't do anything. That's, like, groceries. You can't do anything with $500 a month. Now, that's why whenever I, I work with someone inside of the mentorship program, like, our base price is 500 Like, if you're not at least charging someone $500, I would personally would just refer them off to somebody else and get some brownie points with your referral partner. Okay, so we're shooting for 500 to about $8,000 a month. There are some students that are having, that have clients for ten grand a month. Um, fit, there's one student that has, like, a fifteen grand a month client, right? But just a simple range is anywhere between 500 to about 8000 <clears throat> okay, now the closer you can get to more of like two to three thousand, that's generally two to three thousand dollars a month is generally like that sweet spot ideal client to where you know it's part time, it's enough money for you to like outsource it to somebody else while still making good passive income. It's it's just a good place to kind of be at. So we oftentimes like to shoot from there, but that's that's why it's so important to have pricing, right? Because if your if your goal is only to get to like ten grand a month, <clears throat> you only need about what three. Three clients paying like three thousand three hundred thirty five per month, and it's not difficult to get them, right? It's just you have to be very very selective and very precise. Now, when most people are starting their business, they just go and they just throw a bunch of random stuff against the wall, and it's not your fault. It's just you don't know what to do, right? So when you don't know what to do, you end up trying to figure out yourself, and. A good example of this was like uh, one of my students name is um, Melissa um, Hearn. Um, I, have a, I have a number of Melissa's in my program. So we always like to um, to first name and then like the first three letters of the last name. Because they, they all actually are Melissa H. So it's actually funny, right? So I have to keep going, going, going until we find the, the differentiator. Now, for her, she was at like 2,500, but she had started her business like in... 2000 and like it was either 2008 or 2011 right and she was charging some of her clients like 125 per quarter per quarter per quarter i'm gonna keep saying that until it resonates because like when she said that, i was like what i was like if someone's not gonna be willing to do like like at least like a monthly thing or at least like you know at least a thousand a quarter like that just doesn't make sense right because all that does is really just kind of if you have monthly clients and you have a lot of monthly clients every single time you have like a new project or a new cleanup project that just kind of like comes out of nowhere no matter how easy it is it still distracts you from the main task and it just kind of like gnaws at you so you have to start considering when you have more clients like opportunity costs and like what is this extra this extra kind of like mini headache doing for my overall productivity. So what we had to do for her was like the like she's at ninety one hundred dollars a month now. Um, actually no, she was at ninety one hundred dollars a month last week. She might be at ten k now because she had she had like three consultation calls this week. I haven't really talked to her um yet this week. It's it's Friday, um because she was like super busy after Tuesday, but yeah like she she's she's probably almost at ten grand a month right now. 
Now, the reason why this is important is because she had been going for like, what is that, 2008 to, to, to 2021 at 2500 because like she would, she just didn't know how to price it. She didn't really know how to do it, but she had like 30 clients that were like paying her on a quarterly basis. And that's why I always talk to you guys. Like, it's like, if you want to just avoid, avoid like, you know, trial and error and figuring this thing out yourself, like she was reinventing the wheel for so long. Like a lot of people don't really understand when I tell them, it's like, you guys could, you know, wait and try this on your own, or you could just partner with someone that does it. Like she got to 9,100 in about, in about like, it was like 45 to like 60 days, somewhere inside that window. It didn't take a lot of time. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it was a 60-day period, but she like she had like a surgery she had to do for like two weeks. So she took two weeks off. It, it's funny. A lot of the students that do really well in my program, they do well even though they take like a two-week vacation or like a month-long vacation. And they just start – it's just almost like it kind of recharges them. And they just get to go a little bit harder in the business. So it's actually kind of funny to see. <clears throat> but that could be you. I mean, like, it doesn't have to take you a million years to go get to the point that you want, right? It's just that for her, she didn't actually believe that it could be full time. I came, I was like, bro, what? I was like, dude, you know, you you could have been at 10 grand a month by now. She's like, what? It's like, yeah, it's just the price is way too low. And you don't really have any like inbound lead sources. So like, we had to build her like an inbound lead source where all that means is like the leads are starting to come to her. So we did that by getting her like this, this stream of like referral partners and people inside of her local area that basically just send her leads. So right now it, it's getting, it's um in the beginning of the year, it's like February, the middle of February. And I mean, she's, she said that she gets so many inbound calls from people who are looking for help, for help that she's just like, she gets overwhelmed because she's just like, yeah, man, so many people are looking for help that to schedule another call with them, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yeah. So let's work together. Let's just iron this thing out. Let's just make sure it's, it's a lot calmer of a process for you. Because a lot of people don't know. It's like, it doesn't take much for you to grow your business. It just takes a lot of organization and precision. Precision. You have to know exactly when to tell somebody it's not a good fit. Okay. And that's one thing that, that most people don't really understand. It's like, because when you're first starting, you're trying, you're trying to accept as many people as possible. But then there comes a point to when the marketing actually starts working and you're like, ooh, I have to protect my time, I have to protect my values, I have to protect my life. So if someone's not willing to pay like a minimum price or the work just isn't kind of in flow with what you like to do, then it's like, hey, I, I can't take this on right now. And the more that you can do that, the easier it is for you to really grow and hit that point. Because then you're gonna, if you're getting a lot of inbound leads, like you're going to run into at least five five people over the course of a given month that can afford to pay you a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars per month. It that that is assuming that you are talking to good businesses and your referral partners actually know big business owners. Um, but when you're doing it right, like it's it doesn't take very, very long. Um, so that's why we're me and her are working together inside of the mastermind program. Like she's gonna I think she's gonna join the mastermind program next week. We have a conversation. But it's like she just she just got to this point where it's like, dude, she doesn't do any LinkedIn, doesn't do any Facebook, doesn't do any Instagram. I told her actually like to stop going on Facebook unless it's for like personal stuff and like family and stuff. Cause it's like, you don't need it, man. Just focus on doing the work. Let's out, let's hire a subcontractor so that they can do the work for you. And then let's just kind of move forward, which that does take, again, it takes a lot of precision, but what's going to happen is she's going to be about 15 grand a month by the end of probably before the end of the year. Right. And she's going to be working only probably, only probably working about 20 to 30 hours her week um if, if we do this thing right and if she um continues to bring out subcontractors so it's gonna be great i'm super excited for her but it all comes down to pricing okay right <clears throat> cool because think about like this too like once you hit a certain point you're gonna be able to just not take on people you don't want to hit and that's a great feeling because that gives you confidence right the more people that you can say hey it's not a great fit for the the stronger that you can actually be when you say, hey, this is a great fit. It's time to go. Like, let's do this thing. It's it's eight grand a month. They're like, what? That's a lot of money. Yeah, it is. But do you want good service? Or do you want like, you know, do you want the person up the street? It's only going to like, you know, charge you 150. They're like, what do you mean? I said, yeah, I know you want to go with that person up the street because it's cheap. But I mean, like at, at your level of growth, like, can you really afford to mess this thing up? If you can, like, I'll talk to you soon because that's just generally what happens is like they go up the street to someone cheaper and they come back to me and I got to charge a little bit more because there's a cleanup because a person messed up your books. Or you can just go now, get a little bit of a discount because, you know, you won't have to have that cleanup fee. Everything will move forward fast. I know exactly what I'm doing. 
I have all these, you know, student testimonials. I have references we can call. We can call them right now if you want. That's how good that's how good our, our my client support is. I can call any one of my students or any one of my uh, my clients and at a drop of a hat, they'll answer the phone. And uh, we can talk right here and then. Do you want to do this or or do you want some more information or what what are we doing? And it's like this swag and this just zone where you can be you can be a business owner that's only making like ten grand a month. Talk to like a seven figure or an eight figure entrepreneur with such confidence, such certainty. With, if you're not being disrespectful, I'm not saying to be disrespectful. It's just this is what it is. It's like, do you want to do this thing or, or not? And when you have that kind of confidence of that take it or leave it, it makes it so much easier. I was I was talking to this uh gentleman. Uh, he was thinking about joining the joining the mentorship program. He, he's like this this sales guy, right? So he he came from like a sales background, and he was like. After our call, he's like, well, Bryce, you should have, like, talked more about the value of, of your program, more of XYZ thing, and, like, you know, really, really pushed me into doing it. I was like, no thanks, bro. Like, if I got to do, like, magical sales and marketing tech t tactic techniques on you to get you to join a program, it's like, maybe you're just not the right to fit. But it sounds like you know a lot about sales, so, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll see you soon. I talked to him a couple days ago. It was, like, four months later. He only has, like, one client above a 1,000. He just got him, like, two days ago. It's like... As good as you were at sales, you know, you could have been at 10 grand a month if you just like swallowed your pride and just got in the program. So we're booking another call um, in a couple of days. It's Friday right now, so I'm not, I generally don't do a lot over the weekend. If someone does want to like schedule a call, like my calendar does open up on Saturdays and Sundays for you to be able to book a call. Um, but I generally don't really do much business stuff. So I think we're meeting with him on Tuesday. And it's kind of funny um, <laughs> when that happens. That's very similar to the accounting firm. Like with the accounting firm, like like earlier when I was talking about like they can go with a hundred fifty dollar a month person and then come back when they're ready. Like that's the same thing with with coaching business. Like if someone's not ready at the time to work with me, like it's not that big of a deal. It's I mean at this point, it's like for every student that either or every person that either doesn't want to do it at this moment in time or you know, is it's just not a great fit. I mean, that's just more time that I save with the existing students so we can get them up to even higher levels. So it, it's kind of getting to a, an interesting point where it's like we're, we're, we're hitting this zone to where it's like I'm 100% focusing on like the students who are in it so that they can keep growing. Because I'm like, I'm trying to see this, this year, I want to be able to see if we can get the average like high student to being about 20 grand per month. That's really what, what my goal is. Right, because cause before it's this my, my program like promise or my program goal is like we get you to six figures, right? But six figures can be anywhere from like, you know, anything above um nine thousand a month. Right. So a lot of my students are anywhere between nine thousand to ten thousand, sometimes eleven thousand, right? But what I really want is like for anyone that does well, I want them to be like able to go to like twenty thousand dollars per month. And that's if they want to. Like some people like they just don't need to get to that level. Like they don't, they just, you know, 10 grand a month, every single month is just like sufficient for them to live a really good life, especially if they live like in a rural area or they live like in, in like a place where the, the high, the standard and the cost of living is not very high. You know, 10 grand a month is generally a really good month, especially like when you have like business write-offs and just different, um, different things on the tax side. But some people, they want to get to, you know, 20 grand a month. Some people want to get to 30 grand a month. So I want to be able to make it where we can take what our top students who are doing, you know, 40 grand. Um, um, we have one that's, he's like a hybrid, a hybrid 50 grand a month person. But it's because he's like, part, part of the program is if you're buying a firm, I talk about how to make sure that you can build up your sales and your marketing skills so that when you actually purchase the firm, the firm doesn't go down in value and you're able to actually double. So he's purchasing a firm that already does like 400K um, per year in, in revenue. Right. And then for his business, he, he closed like he closed 20 grand um, in sales last month in the first month of working with me. So in addition to having like purchasing a four hundred thousand um, dollar per year business, he grew his business to twenty thousand dollars per month of monthly recurring revenue. So now he knows he can go and take this four hundred thousand um, dollar per year business. And he can take it to a million. Because all he has to do is just keep doing this. He can start using some of their customer databases with the exact same skills that he's already been building inside of my program. So he's going to be at about, he might be my first 100K, um, 100K per month student, um, believe it or not. So that would be really, really exciting to kind of see. And I'm just super excited for him. But yeah, <clears throat> so if I can just, I'm trying to bottle up like what he has that separates him 
and then my 42 grand a month client, then my 35 grand a month client, then my 25 grand a month client. I want to just, I'm looking at all the different similarities they have between the two of them. I'm not the two of them, sorry, between the different ones inside of that. And then what I want to do is I want to be able to just like, just keep, just keep increasing my coaching. So we can just say, hey, this is the different characteristics. This is the characteristic. This is the characteristics. And we, we've actually done that in the past, like probably like two weeks. Um, we've coined a new term called magnetism. And it, it's, a, it's just this combination of like different, different characteristic traits that you have to develop in order for people to really like you and respect you enough to start paying, you, you know, like $8,000 a month. Um, the one who's doing $42,000 a month in sales, like his, his average client pays him about anywhere between 6,000 to about 8,000. He has a, he has some smaller clients, like the thousand dollar a month, $2,000 a month, but most of his clients are more like six, 6,000, 8,000 and his top one's like $15,000 per month. So in order to do that, the person has to like you enough to pay you that much, right? Cause it's very, very discretionable how much they can pay you. So if you don't know how to actually get people to know, like, and trust you in a very short period of time, it's very hard for you to charge the price that you want. Um, so that's just kind of a side change about some of the things that are happening um, for me and for my students. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and just kind of understand, like, it's all about pricing. Like pricing is the thing that moves the middle forward. It's not necessarily just marketing and sales. It's your price. Now, if you want some help growing a business, maybe you don't know what to charge. Maybe you don't even know how to get people on the phone to talk to you. Maybe you are talking to people on consultation calls, but they just don't sign up for whatever reason. They just kind of like disappear. If you want some help fixing this, right, go ahead and click on the link either above or below the video to book a call with me. All my calls can take you to my calendar or sorry, the link is going to take you to my calendar. Then on the call, we're going to go look at exactly where you are right now. And then where do you want to go? And then if I think it can help you out, I'm going to outline the process of what it looks like for us to work together in order to accomplish this goal in the time frame that we talk about and agree upon with inside of the call. And if it makes sense, we can work together long term. If for whatever reason, you don't really think it's the best fit at the moment, then that's okay. No harm, no foul. At least you can know with absolute clarity what you need to do to go and grow your business. And then you can, you know, try and do it on your own until you're ready to kind of come back. Now, if that's you, I'll see you on the call. If you're not quite ready for the call, I recommend always doing things in spite of not being ready. Just do it anyway. Um, but if you're still not ready, you still just really want to build some trust or it's just, you know, it's not a good time to, to try something new. Go ahead and just keep watching these videos until the time's right. And I'll see you on the call one day. I'll talk to you soon. And I'll see you later. Have a good day.